It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tally here. So Donald Trump decided to speak against atheists, and here's my own personal reaction to the video that I spotted. Prior to our constitution, abolishing free speech, attacking religious belief, erasing our borders, corrupting our elections, and we have corrupt elections and trying to impose their blasphemous creed or woke communism on every American man, woman, and child. And that's what they're doing, and they're trying so hard. We've never had a situation like is going on right now in our country. But the people in this room will never let them do it. They'll never let them get away with it, and it's not going to happen. We will not waver in defense of our faith, our freedom, and our great American flag. They don't want the flag either. They don't want anything. They don't want anything that's good. And you wonder why and how did they ever get elected in the first place. It's sick. Together, we're warriors in a righteous crusade to stop the arsonists, the atheists, globalists, and the Marxists. And that's what they are. And we will restore our republic as one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. As you guys probably already know at this point, I'm not ashamed about saying that I'm an atheist on my channel. I'm pretty open about it when it comes down to my channel. And I usually have a non-religious bent to my channel anyway. And so this right here is not necessarily a surprise for most of you guys in the audience right here. But at the same time, I'm just so sick and tired of politicians always talking crap about people like me directly on their platform, especially in United States. Largely because if you go into European countries, they don't necessarily care about this kind of nonsense. If you go into like the Asian countries, they don't necessarily talk about this sort of nonsense. Our country is probably like the only country in the whole entire world where they make the idea of a person being an atheist and against them a humongous deal. And that right there does not necessarily make any sort of sense because in terms of demographics, of course, the non-religious population has been growing for like a long time now. Now, when it comes down to the non-population about their voting patterns, it seems as though that those who identify as nuns or unaffiliate actually vote more for Democrats in comparison to Republicans. I think the answer is very clear-cut on why non-affiliates, people like me, tend to vote more Democrats than Republican. And the main reason why such people groups, including myself, tend to not vote for Republican is largely because they go out their way to just alienate entire people groups by speaking bad against people like me who are atheists. And so, maybe it's me, but if you really want to have the right have some people who are not, like, you know, religious on your side, Perhaps the messaging, you know, to not go against atheists will actually help a lot by your voting demographics. Also, it will really help to get rid of the negative stereotype that because a politician might be openly atheist, that therefore they might be a bad person. Like, that is ridiculous. Speaking for myself, yes, it's true. I don't believe in the Greek gods. I don't believe in the Mesopotamian gods. I don't believe in the Christian god Yahweh. I don't believe in the Roman gods. There are like millions of gods that I don't necessarily believe me. But just because I don't necessarily believe in any sort of supernatural deity doesn't mean therefore I must be an untrustworthy person because I don't believe in those things. I think it's really important, especially now, that people judge other people based upon their actions, right? Like, if I did something bad, I want to be judged not necessarily because I'm an atheist. I want to be judged if I do something good or do something bad based upon my personality and the actions I take. So, it would be actually nice 
if politicians in America would stop doing this sort of game when it comes down to the unaffiliate. Imagine if a politician said the exact same thing but for Christians. Well, those Christians are so stupid. Oh, those Christians are evil. We cannot have Christians in power. Like, there would be like a humongous riot. I swear. Like, I think there would like, be like a lot of Christians like protesting on the street if a politician were to say all that kind of stuff against them. So, please guys, enough with the petty politics. Don't demonize people just because they're different than you. That's all I'm asking, guys. Don't demonize someone just because they're a different religious affiliation than you. So, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I would have been a poor and I'm a bad friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.